Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Machinal's Lego Robotics. Today's video, my students are studying the ultrasonic sensor. So this robot right here, the soap dispenser or hand sanitizer dispenser is very cool. The ultrasonics there. So if you guys want to see this robot, stay with me. Hino, Lego Robotics. Oh. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave you the instruction video in the description. Um, I uploaded the instructions like a PDF before and somehow that link got destroyed somehow. So my students are actually following the instructions from this video in the description. The link is going to be there on how to build this dude. So this is really cool because my students are studying how the ultrasonic sensor can be used on a robot that mimics what is in our world today. So my students are like, hey, Mr. Gino, there are you know, hand sanitizer and soap dispensers that you just wave your hand in front of and it you know, whoosh, squirts it out for you. So what today I wanna do is be able to just show you this. Some of you have asked for the program for this thing and it's super easy. So I'll show you that and then the coolness is when this thing operates. So let's take a look at this. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Ultrasonic is going to be right there facing down in the perfect position to put your hand. I have no idea how this was so perfect. I had this bottle of hand sanitizer, thank you to my wife, and it's at the perfect height. Before we had to, you know, build little platforms because it was just, I don't know, it wasn't big enough. But this is the perfect size right here. And I don't even know where we got this bottle from, but I'm gonna have to keep this bottle because it's perfect. So I'm gonna show you the program in a second, but what basically happens is it sees your hand. In fact, if you just did this, it would see your hand. And then you just keep it right under the nozzle. These two motors are plugged into BC. They're just programmed to go down and then back up again um, so that your hand you know, can get the hand sanitizer or soap, soap dispenser. Um, I'll tell you in the program um, that we just had to put a weight block at the end of this program because my students were noticing, you know, as they were waiting for it to come out, it kept squirting it in their hands because the program would see their hands still. So we just had to put a weight block at the end to, for them to get the soap and move their hands so that this thing just didn't keep pouring out. So let's take a look at the program and then I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, everybody, I'm on my Lego EV3 software here. So the program is pretty easy. We're just going to come down here for our weight block. We are going to go ahead and put this on the ultrasonic sensor, compare. And my students, they said they wanted this to be five inches. So if the ultrasonic sensor sees something less than five inches away, it will activate the rest of this program here. So let me move this down a little bit. Okay. So what that's going to do is that will activate. My students have that plugged into B and C. So they said they wanted it to go pretty slow. So we're going to set this for just 10% motor speed. And we had already tested this out and they wanted it for 1.5. They did some experimenting and sometimes it would squirt too much. And so that's when they had it at two seconds. So they wanted it to scale it down a little bit. And then we obviously want this to go back up again. So we're going to now send this the opposite way. So negative 10 oh I can never get it just right there we go and then it'll go up for 1.5 and then we realized that the ultrasonic sensor kept we're gonna loop this program so what were they what my students were noticing is that it kept um, it kept running the program again and it kept shooting the um, hand sanitizer out. So what we want to do is, I'm just putting this inside of the, the loop here. Whoops. And come on. 
come on, cooperate here with me. Okay, so what we wanna do now is uh, just put our wait time at the end. We're gonna keep this on for seconds and we'll just make it for three. That's gonna give your hand a chance to get out of the way. So we're gonna have this keep looping, but we don't want it to keep seeing your hand and keep pumping it out um, when you're just trying to you know, have your hand underneath there. So this is just gonna give you a chance to get your hand out of the way. And that's it. So that program will just loop. So if somebody else comes along, they can stick their hand underneath there and we will still get the soap or hand sanitizer to come out. So this is it, this is the program. Let's go ahead now and see this in action. Okay, everybody, so let's go ahead and see how this works. You saw the program, it's set for five inches. If the ultrasonic sees anything less than five inches, the motors will activate for the nozzle to get pushed down, just like that. Very nice. And then it gives me three seconds to move my hand away so it doesn't keep pumping in the hand sanitizer. Let's do this one more time. And my students are just like, wow, that's very cool that we have a hand sanitizer just like we do in our room, but it's now made out of their EV3 robot. I can show my other classes how amazing this was. So what's very cool is my students are able to come to this hand sanitizer in our room and they're able to make now the connection between this hand sanitizer, this automatic one, and relate that now to their ultrasonic sensor hand sanitizer. Okay guys, so there you have it. The soap dispenser hand sanitizer dispenser. This thing is very cool. My students were just like, that's really neat. Um, you will have to keep in mind that these black pieces right here, those are expansion ones. So for those of you with the EV3, sorry about that. Um, but you know, you can go to Brick Owl or somewhere and just order those. They're, I don't think they're very expensive. I believe that is the only pieces on here that are not in the regular EV3 kit. So if you can get your hands on those, you're golden to build this thing. Um, thankfully, I had the expansion kit, the Lego EV3 expansion kit, which comes with these. So we had a good amount of them. Okay, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this guy. It's really cool. My students really love this robot. Super easy to build too. I, they couldn't believe how fast they made this. Okay. All right, guys. I am Mr. Hino from Missile's Lego Robotics. This guy is really cool. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.